What's going on guys, Kaigu here, and some of the shops have changed in Neverland, so I wanted to give you a quick overview of what I think is worth getting, be it free to play, light spender, or whale, let's get into it. Alright, so starting with the free to play, as you'll see I bought a little bit of the primary armor dust, I do not think this is important. The weapon the dust and the lightstone are not must buys. I only am doing this on the first couple days of the server to get all my gear in a good spot, but over time, once you start hitting 98, 99, and 100 and above, uh, you will not need these because you're going to be, it's going to take you longer to get levels, so you have time to get enough dust from doing your dailies to progress. Uh, arguably, I didn't have to get these early, but I wanted to get my numbers up so I look better when I'm doing my guild recruiting. So going on into skills, the five daily skill rubbings. Yes, please get this no matter who you are, uh, free to play, light spender, what have you. This is a must buy regardless. Flower fairy, I don't think this is very important. Uh, you'll be getting passively stuff over time. Uh, I think the strawberry milk is um, a bait and it's going to be a waste of your sapphires. If you are, if you're a free to play that just does the daily stuff, then ignore the flower uh, fragments. If you're doing the extras that I talked about in a video a little while ago, such as uh, doing some of the extra ways to get uh, sapphires, then you're fine to splurge a little bit on the fairy fragments. Then talking about the crystals, I think this is a must buy. So I think you should definitely be getting the skill rubbings and the crystals every single day. And that's really all I think are must buys for the free to play. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of talk about what about my chocolates? What about my stamina potions? Those will cap over time. As long as you're doing uh, the dailies with your uh, significant other and as long as you're doing your uh, using your stamina every day uh, it won't be as quick as some other people but you're really playing the long game and why you're doing that is we're only spending 250 a day uh, 200 from crystals uh, 50 from skill rubbings so you're going to be getting a surplus of, of uh, sapphires per day and I want you to be saving those for if you need to skip a day uh, to be able to get some of those uh, rewards back you're able to do that for sapphires so you're able to have that in your back pocket if life gets a little busy as well as we do end up having events where you're able to get things for sapphires and they end up being kind of expensive so you want a surplus of those going into what i think some spenders should be looking at is over here at a uh, under skill this is new added i believe on the um last update skill reset orb you can get it once per day uh, i don't think anyone should be buying it once per day but if you feel a little pushed to the side and you want to splurge a little bit, I don't mind you grabbing this um, once a week to kind of help you out so you can have more fun swapping between classes. Uh, Flower Fairy, these aren't worth it at all. Crystals, please don't touch these at all. Uh, some sp Mega Whales will get these fives and just spam, 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 because as you see, there's no limit. But I don't think these are any cost effective at all. Going on to the costume... Uh, portable beauty salon at your own risk gotcha gold at your own risk you don't really need to go for that kind of stuff but if you want to do the vanity stuff go for it uh, talking about others this is the same conversation i don't think you should be worried about stamina potions or romantic chocolates um, it's roughly the same price as we talked about with sapphire but i don't think it's worth it for anybody now into the daily shop where everyone will be looking at, right? Uh, Battlefield store, this is going to uh, depend on your income. We have a very specific limited time outfit uh, that will take three, four, five, six, seven um, medals to get. And, but they're only effective for the week. You only get the effect and the set effect for the week. So if you aren't getting enough income, then it's not going to be worth it. 
uh, the wings are also weekly, but this is more achievable as you see it's seven and six. So if you're getting 13 a week, this is going to be some CP bonuses that other people won't be able to get. Guild Shop. I think the very first thing you should be getting, as you'll see that I got, is the Hot Spring Outfit. I have one more piece to get right here, and I think that's the first thing you should be focused on. Get those. Those are once and done. Then you should definitely be getting the uh, Pattern Powders weekly. You should be maxing that out, as well as the Reset Orbs, which the Reset Orbs are going to be big. Uh, even if you're not deciding on swapping between thing, uh, between uh, classes, you're able to kind of cheat um, some uh, seal requirements by using a reset or move some things around, hit the breakpoint, get the reward, and then use a reset or put everything back how you want it. So I think having um, two or three in your back pocket for things like that are important. Then you have some vanity things the fixed die and the random dies. I don't really worry about it, but I know some people had a lot of fun this week with the red die uh, with, some, with some early game outfits. was pretty interesting to see. Uh, the summon seeds. Uh, if you are a free-to-play spinner, this is going to be one of the best things for you. Uh, you should definitely be trying to get um, at least the first two bought out, but uh, you should be dipping into the third one at least. Ladder Shop. Uh, you want to be getting those Psychic Stones every single day. Uh, the Transform Potions are easier to get, so pick them up when you're able to and when you need them. Uh, superb Star Seeking Chest is important, uh, but the Legendary Star Seeking Chest is harder to get, as you see, but will yield bigger rewards. This is dependent on how you're doing on the ladder. Uh, if you're able to... Uh, again, the top 50, you should be able to get the uh, stones, potions whenever you need them, and three or four of the uh, superb. Uh, if you're in the top 10, you should be able to get uh, the stones, potions, uh, superb chests, and maybe one or two of the legendary. If you're in the top three, you should be able to wipe it out. Uh, Flower Fairy, the six star flower fragment piece, as you see, it says limit. And these other ones says this week. So you can get 30 of them and you're done. Then uh, pile all the rest of it into four star fragments. So you can use them as upgrade materials down the line. The strawberry milk is a bait and not worth your materials. Cooking shop is for cooking, which you can find uh, on my discord link down below. All the requirements for all the dishes. Uh, get them when you're able to. Acorn Shop is the very is a very very interesting one. Uh, as a free to play player, the elemental summon seeds over here are your only real way as a free to play player to get these summons. Uh, there's actually an interesting conversion. You can turn um, what is it, uh, Kabbalah into acorns at the exact rate, so you don't get this for cheaper, but you get it at the same price. So if you are a spender, you can't convert and get it cheaper, but you can sell things on the auction house and use those for what you would with money. Uh, as far as the fairy uh, fragments, I don't think they're worth it. Uh, the strawberry milk could be worth it. That is a okay price, um, but I don't think, I think you get plenty of strawberry milk over time to not really think about it. But everything you see that is bought here, the armor and dust pieces aren't worth it. Like I said, I just did those so I can max things out and be on par. Uh, skill rubbings, I think, are very, very important. Crystals, very important. Uh, star seeking chests are important. And the pattern powder is very, very important if you're able to get those every week. Now, that's going to be it for the... Um, for the free-to-play players and for our spenders, let's talk about the Mirror Mall. Uh, these two right here are your biggest bangs for your buck. Uh, if all you get are the um, Moon Blessing and Star Guard, you're going to get passive uh, over time. So if you take a look, Moon Blessing is five dollars. You get three, uh, three hundred and sixty per day as well as 67 seeds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it makes a big difference. 
Uh, so does Star Guardian, which gives you more spirit energy, uh, more equipment experience, which if I had Star Guard, I would not be struggling to upgrade my equipment uh, as I am right now, as well as giving you an income of sapphires. Uh, top up, I don't think any of these are worth it. Maybe uh, the two, five, and ten dollar ones, but I like looking at actual deals. Like these are deals, but I don't think they're worth really looking at. The bond gift, uh, this is uh, actually better bang for your buck than the monthly cards. Uh, but this is a monthly uh, purchase. Uh, that's totally fine. And then fund plan. So if you're going to treat this like a um, pay once and you're done kind of game, if you get the monthly cards for 5 $8 right there, uh, and then this, I believe, uh, you could just do it for 5 Uh You should probably do 13 if you're able to. So you're looking at uh, $21 a month uh, and then a one-time purchase of $10 and you're good. Uh, you'll be good to go and you'll be playing the full-fledged version of the game having no issues. Then talking about the daily gift pack, they give us this free one right here. Uh, I think uh, can dock down here if you're willing to do this daily. So this is 12 purchases, so $12.00. For a can dock. If that's worth it to you, $12 for a can dock, I think this is the one of the best packs here just because you know what you're getting. And that's the difference between uh, getting a gotcha roll and getting a guaranteed summon, right? Uh, so $12 over 12 days for can dock plus some Kabbalah. Um, boost pack is a little bit of everything. Uh, warrior pack, not really worth looking at. Uh, Kandok Wish Pack, that's literally the same thing. No, it's a uh, double. So I guess that's new from when I uh, started doing this. I don't know if Kandosh Wish Pack is on older servers or if this is a new server thing. But if you're willing to get the other one, this one's obviously better. Uh, Fairy Wish Pack, not really worth it. And the selection packs at the end, the two selection packs, if you're going to put any kind of money in this game, those are your best purchases, period. Uh, the selection packs let you get uh, six star fragments, which makes a guaranteed over time. Strawberry milk, ignore that. Primary, ignore that. Skill rubbings, one of your best ways to get skill rubbings. And orange crystal chests, one of your best ways to get those. So if you get the three per day, for three dollars you get some Kabbalah towards events and then you can either get 1200 skill rubbings or 30 orange chests uh, weekly packs ten dollars for 3200 skill rubbings that is monstrous amount of skill rubbings especially early game uh, the one right behind me it breaks even it's a little bit more than even but I don't think that's worth it I like to have a lot more for my value name change do that as you need Surprise pack, uh, one of the best ones we have. Uh, whenever you're able to get ten dollars for a ten pool, that's about even. So you get ten dollars per ten pool, a hundred uh, strawberry milks, and two purples. Uh, that's barely. It's a little bit more than even. So I don't really care about it myself. Only thing I would buy on this page right here is the skill upgrade pack for the first couple weeks of the server, so you can get a jump on your skills. Luxury pack, both of these are the best things you can buy in the game. Uh, it's still, you know, it's still $100, but that is uh, 60, um, $60 sixty dollars for the 610 pools. That is 50 right there. So that's $110 right between the two things. And then that's also three six stars, uh, as well as whatever amount of four stars. Th those don't really matter when you're spending money. But this is really like... 140 ish dollars worth of stuff for a hundred dollars uh if you're going to spend money this is one of the best things you can buy uh this pack right here um even better value than that one over there this is uh you know looking at 25 to 28 dollars for 15 dollars if you're going to put money in the game this is what you're going to do it on especially if you care about outfits you get the gotcha gold which is going to go for the outfits 
Uh, then you have special events. I'm not going to go over these ones right here because these are only for new servers. Uh, monthly card pack. Uh, these are two uh, packs you can only buy if you have the uh, the monthly card, any of the monthly cards. But both of these are some of the best bang for your buck. If you really care about the equipment stuff, which you should not, then this will be a good buy. For the And then monthly pack number two. Uh, for three dollars, you're looking at. Uh, let me see. I said that's one, two. So the four hundred seeds is like two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents, and then you get like two dollars worth of Kabbalah crystals, and then the other stuff you're looking at, like uh five fifty for three dollars if that's worth it to you. I like to get a lot more than that, but that's possible. Weekly packs. Uh, this one is definitely a a buy right here we're looking at uh one two three four five six this is eight dollars for five so that's up to you that's how i put the value on things i hope this shop guide helped you all in the future and if you have any pop-ups or whatnot you want to ask about feel free to ask down below in the comments or on my discord link down below till next time guys